hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to create a multiple choice quiz game in python this game is going to ask multiple choice questions about canada this game will also keep track of the score and it will print the score at the end of the program so let's get started so first thing we're going to do is welcome the user we're going to print welcome to the simple quiz game and we're going to have chances in this game so we are going to specify how many chances we have and also we're going to tell the user how many chances they have so i'm going to create a variable called chances and set it equal to one then i'm going to print you will have then we're going to put in the variable chances and say chance to answer correctly give a line space and then i'm going to say please put the alphabet of the answer then we'll give another line space and end the print statement next what we're going to do is create a variable called score set the variable to zero since we are at the beginning of the program now we can get started with our question so question number one so we have to first print the question so i'm going to say question underscore one equals print and we'll also specify this is question number one i'm going to have questions about canada but you don't have to have questions about canada what day is canada day is going to be my first question then we'll give a line space and start the multiple choice so a is going to be july 4th then line space then we'll do b which is going to be july 2nd then line space then we'll say c which is going to be july 1st then line space then d which is going to be july 3rd then we'll give two line space before we finish our print statement next we also have to tell the program what the answer is going to be so i'm going to create a variable called answer underscore one and we're going to set it equal to c now we're going to create a for loop so for i in range chances since we wanted to run for however many chances we have for i in range chances we have to ask the user what is the answer so i'm going to create a variable called answer that is going to be input of the user's answer then we're going to create our if statement so if answer dot lower since we only wanted comparing in lower case equals the answer of the question we will print correct and good job then we'll give another line space and we will also change the score so now the score is going to be plus one then we will do break next we're going to create our else statement which is going to be if the user gets the answer wrong so we're going to print incorrect and also give a line space okay and we will also tell the user what the correct answer is so we will say the correct answer is and this is supposed to be answer underscore one and we will give two line spaces okay now we will go on to question number two so for question number two i am just going to copy this and change stuff since that will be fast and effective so question number two 
question underscore two answer underscore two and also in the print statement we will put two we also have to change what the question is going to be so this time the question is going to be what is the capital of Canada now we will have four options again and first option is going to be Toronto second option is going to be Montreal third option is going to be Vancouver and fourth option is going to be Ottawa perfect and now we can also change this to 2 and we were also going to change this to 2 now let's do the same thing for question number 3 so change this to 3 change this to 3 change the question 3 we're also going to change this to 3 and lastly change this to 3 now our question number 3 is going to be let's see okay what is the largest city of Canada so this time we're actually going to have six options so let's start first option Quebec second option Toronto third option Vancouver fourth option is going to be Winnipeg now we're going to go to the fifth option which is going to be E and that is going to be Edmonton then we're going to have our last option which is F which is going to be Montreal then again we'll have two line spaces and that will be the end of code now everything has been changed we can now go on to telling them what the score was so we can say score so we're going to print the score and we'll create a while loop now so while score is greater than or equal to 4 we'll print well done your score was and tell them what their score was and we're going to break we're also going to create another while loop so while score was less than or equal to three we're going to print let's say better luck next time and we will tell them what their score was your score was and the score variable and now we will put break now finally we will have our goodbye message we're just going to print thank you for playing the simple quiz game so there is an error in the code question number one was supposed to be c we never changed the answers so the capital should be d and this one should be b this was also supposed to be if your score was greater than two or equal to two then we'll say well done and if it was less than um, two then we are going to say 
better luck next time so just to make this a little bit better we're going to add some sleep so that the all the sentences don't come at the same time so we will have to import the library time so we we'll just say import time now after we print welcome to the game let's have the program sleep sleep for some time so let's say time dot sleep and let's make it sleep for one second okay then after we tell them what to do let's make the program sleep for one second or let's make it sleep for two seconds actually because it's two sentences okay and then let's make the program sleep after incorrect because it pops too quickly so let's say time dot sleep just for 30 seconds so 0 0.5 and we'll also do that with every single one so let me just copy this and we'll paste it over here and we'll paste it over here okay now after the program tells us the correct answer we should also make it sleep for a little bit so let's say time dot sleep for two seconds before the next question comes so let's go to the end time dot sleep two seconds and finally over here two seconds okay that's perfect now we are not going to have any more sleeps because that's pretty straightforward so now let's try running the code So now if we run the game, it shows welcome to the simple quiz game. You will have one chance to answer correctly. Please put the alphabet of the answer. Then the question, what day is Canada Day? So let's put the correct answer, which is C. Then it says correct, good job. Gives a little bit time. And then the next question comes in. So let's do a wrong answer. So I'm going to say A. Then it says incorrect. The correct answer is D. Perfect. And it gave time between them too now it shows the last question and over here we're going to say the correct answer which is b so we click enter correct good job it gives time and then it says well done your score was two thank you for playing the simple quiz game so that's it guys this is how you create a multiple choice quiz game in python be sure to check out my next video which is going to be about how to add sound effects in this um, quiz game that we created we will be going to adding sound effects so if the user gets a correct answer we will say good job or some kind of sound effect and if the user gets the wrong answer then we will put a wrong sound effect so be sure to check that out thank you for watching see you guys next time bye bye